Good evening, it's Pastor Allen again. I'm going to continue with this end times reading and teaching, starting at Revelation chapter 2, starting at verse 1. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, the seven stars are the seven churches, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, the seven, I'm sorry, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven golden candlesticks are the churches. So, when Jesus said he's walking in the midst of the church, of the seven golden candlesticks, he's walking in the midst of the church, and he's got the seven stars in his hand. That's the leaders of these churches. He have them in his hand, and he has them in his hand because he said, who... He whom I hold in my hand, the devil in hell, can't pluck him out. Let me continue. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them to be liars. And hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. He's talking about John. John has worked through the ministry. He's worked the works of God. He's done the works of God. That's why he was cast on the Isle of Patmos. But he was cast on the Isle of Patmos because God wanted him there. And then God delivered his revelation to John. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. He's dealing with the church of Ephesus right now. Remember wherefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will remove the candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Now Jesus is talking right now to the churches, and he's talking to the leaders of the church, and he's telling you, if you don't repent, if you don't stop doing these evil works, if you don't stop running after money, if you don't stop dealing in homosexuality, if you don't stop dealing in adultery, if you don't stop being a, a, a wine bibber, a filthy lucre, running after the world's riches, running after the world's favor, running after people and not after God, he said he's going to remove the candlestick out of his place. That means he's going to cast you completely out of that church and put you out of business if you don't repent. Remember thou far from which thou art fallen and repent and do the first works. See, Jesus wants you to do the first works. You stepped to him from the beginning and said you're going to preach the word with power and demonstration and you have reneged on your promise. And repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent. He's going to kick you out of the church. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Now the Nicolaitans is that Nimrod bunch. That bunch from Nimrod who started, basically, started off the church of Satan at the Tower of Babel. I've already taught that in the earlier teaching. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcome it, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna write, These things said the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, right there, this church of this church of Smyrna, Jesus is talking about the church that claims they're Jewish people, and they claim that they keep the law of God. But he says right here. These things said the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, the tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. We have right now a place 
over across the water that they claim is Israel and they claim that this is the Jewish family. But what people got to realize when the Bible calls the name Israel, he's talking about the seven tribes of Israel. He's not talking about the place over there where, where Ashkenazi Jews have taken over and claimed it for their for themselves. Whereas when God's people, when God's people went in to that land, Jerusalem, Palestine, all those places, they went in as black people, as a black family, as the 12 tribes of Israel. And now, how is it all of a sudden, now the whole nation has turned white, but they're calling themselves Jews. And that's what he's talking about right now. You say you're Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Nothing but a bunch of liars. Let me keep going. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Jesus is saying that a lot of y'all will be threatened with prison time, threatened with death, threatened with murder, threatened with the threatening the death of your family, but Jesus said, continue to preach his word like you're supposed to preach it. Continue to teach like you're supposed to teach. And he tells you right then and there, all of these threatens, all of these threats will mean nothing when you obtain a crown of life. Verse 11, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcome it shall not be hurt of the second death. The second death is when he opens the book and your name is not written. And he said, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And I'll continue this teaching at another time. God bless you.